In this recording, we're going to cover how to modify more than just the marker uh, types. So at the end of our last tutorial, this is where we ended up. We were plotting three different data sets, and this is the curve, or I'm sorry, this is the figure that we ended up with. Now herein, we've allowed MATLAB to auto-format or figure out all by itself the colors that we used. So sample set one was blue, two was red, and three was yellow. We're going to now define those colors, and we're going to connect these points using different lines just to show how. So we've already done this several times, but help space plot. And if we, we zoom up, or I'm sorry, scan up, we have different marker shapes. Those are the middle columns, different line types in the right column, different colors in the left column. So here we're going to come in. And the point I really want to drive home here is it doesn't matter what order these three modifiers appear in. So you'll notice that the only character that repeats is the period. It's over here as a dash dot and it's here as a point. So if we only have the dot, it's a point. But if it goes dash dot, that tells MATLAB we need a different line type. Let's talk about what that means. So for my first data set, I want a dotted line. We're still going to use circles, but this time I want them to be blue. My second data set, I want this to be red. It's going to be X's. And I'd like a line type to be a dash dot. My third is going to be a dashed line that is, we'll say green, and then squares. So here I have a line type, then a color, then a mark, I'm sorry, a line type, then a marker type, then a color. Here I have a color, then a marker type, then a line type. Here I have a line type, then a color, then a marker type. So it doesn't matter what order these things appear in, it only matters that you have the modifiers tied to the data set x y modifiers x y modifiers x y modifiers so we're going to run this this is what we get again our legend obscures a few things so if we back that off open it up you'll see that our first data set is or has circles a dotted line and is blue there's our first one our second data set has red X's and a dash dot line. Red dash dot with X's. You'll see that all of this information is also changing up here in the legend. And then dashed green and squares. Again, to drive this home, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna put my squares before my dash dash line. I'm gonna put my red at the end. And I'm gonna put my dotted line in between. And you'll see that even though we changed all three of these, we still get the same figure. So this is how you format all of these things. Um, at some point later, we're gonna talk about formatting different figures at one time, but uh, you know, we have a few other things to cover before we do that, so until next time.